Hey there guys, welcome to another video, and today we're going to be setting up Guild Wars 2 in Lutris. Just so you understand the proper settings when using D9VK. And apparently our Vulcan 32-bit library is not installed. Go figure. So, we'll do that after. But, this is Lutris, and let's just get right to it. So we're going to add the game manually. Like that. We're going to select the runner. We're going to hit install the runner because we want to install one that's a lot better than wine normal. So we're grabbing this one. This is done by someone I know, so very trustworthy. All right, on to the next step. Hit OK. That game options. Let's go find the executable. I'm going to pop into here and see if I can actually the one from my MVM drive. And apparently I can. Great. So we're going to select that .exe. 4-bit. Runner's been chosen. We're going to turn on eSync. That is 2. So you want to type D3D9. Native. DXGI. Again, native. And uh, environment of variables, and we're done. That's it. And you just start up, log in, and enjoy the performance because it's going to be pretty good. Uh, you are going to have to install a few things Wine Mono Installer, normal, right? And Gecko Installer. Yay, Gecko. Honestly, these things should just install and come with Wine now. It's kind of weird that you have to do the whole installation thing for it. Yeah. Just going to hit enter because it's sometimes buggy. And after that, play. And the Guild Wars 2 thing is going to pop up. And I totally just moved all of my video. Wow. Alright, so there we go. So I'm going to log in real quick. Put this on the other half of the window. What did I do wrong? All right, and let's hope for the best because we totally forgot two things to put in. Uh, that's new. All right, so let's finish up the config now that we know that we can log in. Uh, you're going to want two environment variables. So this is the HUD. Set this to one. And for best performance, we're going to set this to none. Now, if you want to help out with development on the VK, uh, what you might call it, Discord VKX, you will set this to debug instead of none. And yeah, we should actually be good to go now. And it's always going to pop up on the other screen, isn't it? And it didn't remember anything I just entered into it. Figures. And we're well, that's a good sign. Oh, it's popped up on the other window. So give me a sec. I will... ...window real quick. Stretch the screen. Here you go. So we're in. And uh, the performance was normal on the loading screen, which means there's probably not going to be an issue in-game itself. 
And there's not. The performance is freaking awesome. And I didn't I'm a little early on my daily. Where the hell am I? Oh yeah, I'm at that mastery point. Okay. Wagons. Excellent. Interesting. But it won't let me. Okay, so that's the setup. That's honestly going to get you the best performance. And, um, yeah, you should be enjoying some mad FPS with D9VK. Uh, this is just an easy setup with Lutris. You're not going to need any of those wiki commands anymore for wine. Those are all useless and they will fuck your performance over. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and had a good day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.